What are stock option pools and how does that relate to companies capitalization? Well, to begin with, many companies seek to compensate employees and contractors with an ownership interest in the company rather than simply paying them in liquid cash. The reason oftentimes employees are too expensive that the uh, startup cannot afford them and employees are more motivated to work for a venture where they have some stake in the outcome of the success of the venture. And awarding an employee an ownership interest in the company provides for this motivation and it allows the company to use this equity interest in exchange for paying the market rate for salary for the startup employee. So startups frequently use this. The same goes for third-party contractors outside of the company. If the services that are being rendered are too expensive or otherwise they wouldn't be able to attract these these third parties to provide services for the company, they may award some form of equity ownership to those third parties to incentivize them. Now, instead of actually awarding equity to employees and third-party contractors, companies frequently use what is called stock options. And in summary, a stock option is simply the right. It is a contractual right to purchase stock in the company at a given price. So these employees hold this right. So if the company becomes more valuable over time, the right to purchase at the earlier value the value at the time the option was granted means that that contractual right is very valuable and it allows the holder of the stock option to reap the same benefits as an owner of the company would because they have taken advantage of the growth or increase in value of the company. So companies routinely use stock options to incentivize employees and third-party contractors. Now, to do this, you have to actually create what's called an option pool. And this means authorizing a stock option plan. Uh, the board of directors has to propose it and approve it, and the uh, shareholders vote to approve it. And once the stock option plan is approved, this plan will outline many of the provisions that govern the stock options themselves. Uh, the company will grant the options to the individual employees or contractors now, this pool, this contractual obligation that is the option, has to be attached to ac actual equity. So what an option pool is, is this contractual right attached to actual equity of the company. So the company will set aside a certain percentage of its stock, generally common stock, but sometimes it's a preferred or different type of stock, but generally common stock. And that's generally somewhere between 10 and 25% of the company's ownership interest, uh, with most commonly somewhere around 15 to 20%, depending on the growth speed of the company and the need for external parties to be involved. But they'll set aside this percentage of the company's equity, and then this will be what the option pool is attached to. So when the company grants stock options, uh, these options have the ability or the holder of the option has the ability to exercise the option and the underlying equity that they would be purchasing is part of this pool. So it's basically a pool set aside for this purpose. Now, these option pools can be attached to employee stock option plans, which you're trying to incentivize employees and it's part of their compensation and they earn it over time. And these are normally not uh, statutory or um, incentive stock options. OK, uh, non-qualified stock options or non-statutory stock options are another form that's generally used for non-managerial employees and third party contractors. And there's a different tax treatment and they have to be treated structurally differently in the stock option plan. Uh, but it's just important to understand that they're both these both of these types of options are it can be attached to the same option pool. Now, <clears throat> how does this affect company capitalization? Well, a company is capitalized based upon uh, the, the value of all its outstanding shares. Now, when you issue stock options, you are in effect pledging 
that equity that is not yet issued to the holder of the stock option. But it will be when that stock option is exercised. So you have to count the stock options when it comes to counting the number of shares that are outstanding out there, even though they haven't actually been issued. So when you hear uh, companies talk about the fully diluted capitalization of the company, it means what the total outstanding stock number would be if all of the options and all the warrants and all of the conversion rights were actually exercised and all of the stock that is promised in some way is actually out there in the market. So you have to keep track of these options on the capitalization table, the cap table, the exact same way that you do equity in the company, even though it is a contractual right. So this is what option pools are, um, and this is generally why it's relevant for company uh, capitalization determinations.